Hello. My name is Hans George Campbell. Tonight I want to show you guys how to uh, install Amiga OS 3.9 onto a compact flash card. All right. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your compact flash card plugged into your PC and that it is prepped and uh, ready to go uh, for Amiga OS 3.9 to be copied onto it. Next thing you want to do is you want to insert your Amiga OS 3.9 CD into the optical drive of your PC. Okay. Next we want to load up the Amiga emulator WinUAE. Okay. We want to select A4000, the Amiga 4000. Now the Amiga 1200 is just an Amiga 4000 without slots. So this configuration will also work with your Amiga 1200 computer. Uh, for the configuration, you want a 6EL30 processor. You want the Kickstart 3.1 ROM, um, 2 megabytes of chip memory, and 8 megabytes of fast memory. If you want to use the NTSC video system, and make sure this is checkmarked. Okay. Under the floppy drives, we want to insert the workbench disk into DF0. And we want to insert the locale disk into DF1. Under CD and hard drives, we want to add our compact flash card as a hard drive. Here it says generic storage device number 0903, RGB for the boot sector, <clears throat> so that's good. RDB stands for Rigid Disk Block, and that's what the Amiga computer uses for its boot partition, its boot sector. All right. Next, we want to make sure that CDFS Auto Bound CD DVD drives is checked. Okay. Next, we want to go to our display. And since most of, us, most of us are probably using a 1080p HD monitor with our computer, we want to select 1920 by 1080. If you are running the Amiga emulator normally and you're not doing video capturing, then you want to select full screen. If you are doing video audio capturing like what I'm doing, um, you want to select full window. Okay? And you click on the start button. <coughs> okay. So the MG right here, this is the prepped, partitioned, and formatted compact flash card. Um, this, of course, is the Workbench 3.1 disk the, that we inserted in DF0. And this is the locale disk that we inserted in DF1. So this all looks good. Okay. 
This is the Amiga OS 3.9 CD. So we want to double click on that. Okay. And then we want to double click on this here to start the install. Actually, it's going to be this one to start the install. Okay. Now, we want to select option 3. OS 3.9 full installation over uh, 3.0 or 3.1 or MTHD. So select um, this and then click on proceed. Don't worry about creating an emergency, uh, uh, emergency disk. You don't really need that. So just click on proceed. Now you can pause the video at any time if you want to read any of this. So, okay, just click on proceed. <clears throat> All right. Click accept the agreement. Alrighty then. <laughs> Click on proceed. Um, select your compact flash card. In this case, it's it's D80 empty. That's the compact flash card. And proceed. Select your language. Okay. You can always uh, install a printer later. Most of us that are going to be using uh, this with our Amiga 1200s, we're not going to be using a printer, so just click on Proceed. Select the keyboard layout that you want installed and click on Proceed. Now these backdrops, they're kind of ugly, so I would recommend not installing them. And that will give you another 10 megabytes for Amiga files or Amiga programs. And it's just that easy, boys and girls. You are watching this in real time. <clears throat> this has not been sped up at all. Just that easy, just that quick. See, it installs or copies over all the printer 
um, driver files anyway. So you can always, you know, install your printer or choose a printer later on after Amiga OS 3.9 has been installed on the Compact Flash card. You can always, you know, pick a printer later on. <coughs> Yeah, Amiga OS 3.9, it actually looks nice on an Amiga 1200 or Amiga 4000 computer because of the AGA chipset. It really looks nice. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to hit the F12 key and we want to quit the Amiga emulator. Just quit all the way out. Okay. Now we're going to reboot it. Um, this time we're not selecting any disks. But we are going to the hard drives. We have to select our compact flash card. So there's our compact flash card. Generic storage device. Add hard drive. This time we're not checking CDFS auto mount CD DVD drive. We're not checking that because we're done with the CD. Okay, so now it should boot uh, Amiga OS 3.9 directly from the Compact Flash card. <clears throat> okay. It looks ugly now, I know. We're going to um, change that. We're going to make it look a little bit nicer. First thing we need to do is go into screen mode. And we need to select 640 by 400 interlaced. Okay. Bump the colors up to 256 colors because we are setting this compact flash card up for use with an Amiga 1200 or 4000. Let's go ahead and test it. Make sure it's going to work. Okay. Now, because we can't see the buttons down below to click on them, we're going to have to use the keyboard 
uh, shortcut, which is Shift S, and that saves the configuration. Now, I, I usually like to double check this, so I reload screen mode. Okay, <clears throat> make sure it's all checked, it's all proper. Uh, prop, uh, 640 by 400 interlace, 256 colors. Now we can see the buttons. So again, I'll click on save just to make sure that's saved. Okay, we'll close that. We'll close that. Okay. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to get rid of that border around our desktop. So you just make sure that backdrop is checked, like that. The next thing we want to do is we want to edit uh, the stock. Okay. And for icon names, I think it looks better if you get rid of all the names. Don't, don't show up any names at all. Just have it where it's um, none. Okay, and then snap to screen border. The default is none, but we want to have this on bottom left. Okay, <clears throat> and then if, to get rid of this ugly background around the icons, we want to go to icon area, click that. And then click on OK. And it gets rid of that. OK, so now we want to save this. OK, starting to look better already. OK. Um, <clears throat> we can move our trash can down to there. We can um, clean up. OK, clean up by column. And we can go ahead and snapshot the window. So we don't have to keep doing this every time we boot up our computer. And then snapshot all. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to get rid of the frame that's around the hard drive icon. You can also do that with the RAM disk. Um, okay, so that's it for this video. This is actually looking pretty good. Um, that's it for this video. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you uh, what you can do to make Amiga OS 3.9 look more beautiful. So stay tuned for that exciting video content. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, my name is Hans George Campbell, and until next time,